because we are an Arizona uh, corporation, mm-hmm. and that's who we, I believe we need to go to for anything like this anyway. Uh, we don't need to be dealing with the federal government. The Phoenix should be Absolutely. the highest place we go to for our business. That's exactly right. Well, I am Monty. interested. I'm fascinated. Yes. I was going to say, Monty, I, I'm I'm really excited. I'm going to get uh, you in touch with our, our Arizona ambassador, who you'll recognize his name. It's Monty. So he'll get in touch with yes, you yes. and uh, um, uh, get you get you involved. I'm ex- we're excited to reach out to folks such as yourself that already are doing much of this and you have a network. Uh, I think when you you sit down with us and spend a little time and seeing what we're talking about, you're going to love it. So um, um, I'm looking forward to of, it. Uh, That's what my intentions are: is to sit down with you and uh, pull out my very well worn, earmarked, and uh, written upon pocket constitution, and let's let's do some serious talking, please. Okay. Thank you very much for calling in. That's very exciting. Thank you, sir. You're very welcome. Okay, the next area code is uh, 817. Hey, can you guys hear me? Yes, sir, we can. You have the floor. I was wanting to know, who uh, can I get in contact with uh, is your Texas ambassador? Uh, Texas Ambassador, what is your name? And I will make sure that I send you an email with her name. All right. Name is uh, Robert, last name McGee. Robert McGee, okay. My email is d-u-o-a-i-r at sbcglobal.net. Let me read that back to you. Robert McGee, D-U-O-A-I-R at S-B-C dot net. I'm, I'm sorry. Repeat. No, let me repeat it. It's D-U-O-A-I-R at S-B-C global dot net. Oh, global. Okay. Got it. Is Tim oh, still on the that. phone? Is, I'm yes, sorry. I'm oh, okay. Uh, Tim, I do have a question. I do want to ask you since I wasn't able to ask yes, you last sir. months ago. There is one thing that does concern me very much. I mean, if we're supposed to be a um, Judeo-Christian nation, now follow me on for just a second. What about these Muslims that are here in our country? That's an issue that we're going to have to bring up to Congress and decide what to, what we need to do. So that, that, that's not a topic. Of, that's not a topic that we can discuss on the telephone. It's too complicated. And uh, well, I mean that would be addressed. We understand. With, um, it's going to have to be yes. Address. But but I don't know the answer to that yet because that's up to Congress. I can't make those calls and judgments. Congress will do that, and that will be. According to the will of the people. Okay. Well, that was the only yes, thing. Yes, those but, issues uh, will be addressed. If you guys could send me that information to me on my email, I'd very much like to go more in depth with the rep. We will. I will get you that information uh, tonight. Okay. I appreciate it, guys, and you guys have a wonderful God. night. God bless you, Robert. Thank, Thank you. you for calling. Thank, Thank you, sir. Robert. Our next. Uh, Caller is area code 662. Okay, that sounds like that's me. You have the floor. I'm here by way of my good friend, David Costello. And uh, I'm a member of the Tea Party here in Mississippi. And I have found it very hard to get a collaboration among the Tea Party members on foundational precepts from the Declaration of Independence and the preamble of the U.S. Constitution. I feel like that if we are lethargic, 
to become acquainted with these precepts and principles. There is literally no way that we can save this republic. There are, almost, there are about six precepts from the Declaration that are core. And obviously there are six principles in the preamble that are foundational. If this doesn't become our common language that defines our ideology, my regret is that and fear is that we can't save the republic if we're illiterate to these foundational principles and precepts. What is your name, sir? My name is Jim Borland. I'm in Columbus, Mississippi. Would you do you have an email? I can get you in touch with our um, uh, ambassador there and get get you some more information. That's something we actually would love to do is reach out to the Tea Party movements because. Um, you know, as ambassadors, we've been to a couple of those functions, and we realize, just like us, they know something's wrong. But as we 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 go to some of their functions, we notice, you know, they're handing out bumper stickers and T-shirts and saying, "Go go vote the go vote the bums out." But that's not really a solution. So uh, we'd love to talk to you. Would you, if you could give me your email address, would you be interested? I think we have some good news for you. My email is J Borland B O U R L A N D sixty six zero at AOL dot com. Sir, I, I, I hear some sadness in your voice and and I, I think like many of us, but I think what you'll find when you talk to some of the folks, um, we're we're pretty excited, and um, I apologize, folks. My uh, hounds are chasing away dragons, um, but I, I, you know, I think a year ago I was feeling the same way. A lot of people are, and we we uh, are are in. We we have done some things I think will very much excite you. I don't know that we we can't hardly explain it to you in, in a short call like this, but that's the purpose of the ambassador function is to reach out, and we want to get with the tea parties and so forth. So I will send you your Mississippi ambassador and have him get in touch with you. Is that all right? Thank thank you very much. Okay, and then maybe help him get in touch with your tea party and put together a function. Yeah, Jim, this is Tim Turner, and I appreciate you calling and your comments. And you may find that uh, we, we're on the same page. We also agree that we need to go back to those concepts and precepts that uh, were established by our founding fathers and the ideologies that they had. And you have to read more than just the Constitution and, and the yeah. founding documents. You've got to read about what they believed in their own writings and their memoirs and things to get the concept of what this nation is about, and uh, and that has been kept from the people from a long time, for a long time, that we're about to start educating them again. Our nation was taken away from lack of education, and we're going to gain it back by education, and that's what we're embarking on now. And I, I was just in a Tea Party this last weekend in North Carolina with some of the heads of the Tea Parties and spoke to them for a few minutes and had a great response, and I think we're going to move forward. Um, and uh, and there and we have some that have said they want to come on and help us. And I think that we we can pull together. Uh, one problem that I did have them understanding is that they do most of them, some not all of the Tea Party people, but most of the Tea Party people think that they can still fix Washington with Democrats and Republicans. It'll never happen. It can't be done that way because that was a deception on the people from the beginning. We've got to go back to the basics, and we've got to fix this problem because the corporation was faulty 
from its foundation. And the scripture is very clear. You can't build on a faulty foundation. It will not last. It cannot stand. It won't stand the test of time. And that's what's wrong with the corporation and the structure that has been created because it was done improperly from the beginning. We're going back to the basics and bringing this thing back right. And we welcome your input and your help on those those issues because we need people that have the education and knowledge that you have to help us do just that. And we look forward to working with you. God bless you. Jim? I, I apologize. I put myself on I put myself on mute. Um, the next caller is area Okay. Our next uh, next in the queue is area code six six two. Area code 662. Let's go to the next area code. Okay. Let's try area code 406. Speaking. Do you hear me? Yes, you have the floor. Go ahead. Okay, thank you. <clears throat> My name is Robin, and I'm calling from the Republic of Montana, hopefully. I was wondering, <clears throat> is there a list of those 31 states that, are, that have their... Um, senators and representatives and can convene as congresses uh, together, and is Montana one of them? I have not been contacted yet by any representative from Montana. I am showing, bear with me a second. Once again, I apologize for my hounds. Montana, I show as a yes, and with one senator and four representatives right now. Um but this is an informal list, just making some brief phone calls, so I don't know the particulars. You'd have to get a hold of somebody in your uh, republic. Is there a state ambassador that you could have um, give me a call? Yes. Tell me your name and your email address. Okay, my full name is Robin, R-O-B-I-N, Larson, L-A-R-S-O-N, and okay. email is... Okay. And email is R L L Star, like Star in the Sky at AOL dot com. At A O L dot com. It, it's it's R L L Star? Yes. R L L Star, okay. Okay. I will uh, I'd also be interested in a list of uh the other states that are, are, you know, really getting moving forward just because I want to know. Just because you want to know. Um, yeah. I'll see what we can do. Uh, I'll tell you that we're really struggling just to get the event together. If I can get something together, I will do that. Um, um, I'll do the best I can on that. <laughs> we're just well, logistically... I okay. Have in other states, so. Okay. I will. I will see if I can send something along with, uh, with with your ambassador number. Okay. Wonderful. Thank you. I appreciate it much. Very grateful. Thank you. Thank you very much, Robin. All right. The next area code is area code four one zero. Yeah, this is Representative Ken Crane from Maryland, and uh, I have a question. Um, now that uh, both houses of Congress are in place and with a speaker, my question is, when will the um, buildings be complete in uh, Kalamazoo, Michigan, you know, to house both the House and Senate? 
and when will a national election be held? 